So, uh, Rick, if I can have your assistance, please, um, please uh, exemplify what a flare, a transmission flare is for us. Yes, in layman's terms. <laughs> so it's coming out of, let's say, first or second, and it goes on, and then it goes, next gear goes on, on, on. And then it settles into exactly. them. Exactly. And you get an RPM. Very unnerving. People always wonder why these happen. So flaring occurs on different Mercedes transmissions for different reasons. Now your 300 SD has a 722.3 in it, and um, your 95 E300 has a 722.4, which is <laughs> basically the same transmission, right. <laughs> except it has a, a greater propensity towards flaring, which you're experiencing now. Uh, where do flares come from? Well, the first one that we should know about is an excess of vacuum. If you remember, when we adjusted your modulator, what did, did that help? Um, that, that was on the 83? Uh, no, it was on the 95. On the 95. Uh, didn't seem to, as slightly, but not as much as I'd like. Okay, now, one of the things you can do in the 722.3 is if you have flaring in all the gears, you can turn the vacuum modulator inward a couple of turns. And that will reduce the effect of vacuum on the modulator. And so that can cause flaring. But in Rick's case, that's, re that's really not helping. So the 722.3 and .4 have another problem lurking in the valve body. Oh. At the front of your valve body, left and right side, you have a plate that's in the shape of, I think it's the, what, what is it Arizona that has like the little pan handle at the top? I can't um, remember, or Utah or something like that. It looks like it's like the shape of Arizona or Utah, or one of those big western states. And there's one on each side, and you have four screws holding it on. So behind this is a spring, and I can't remember, what does that spring cost, like eight bucks? I, it couldn't cost much. Yes, yeah, so it's like an eight dollar <laughs> spring. And when you're Simple. doing a transmission service, you can remove these two plates and replace these spring kits that go in there. I don't have a part number, but if you guys want to know what it is, I'll post it on the community board if any of you ask for it. And that can help the flame. But finally, one of the last reasons these transmissions flare is because, uh, I'm not going to say because they're worn out, but because they do suffer some wear occasionally. Uh, and there's a last reason. If you have a 722.3, you don't know about this, but behind the vacuum modulator is a plastic piston. And if the piston breaks, then uh, you can also get serious flaring and you can get very premature shifts. I don't know if you ever no, experienced no, that before. I don't have that in mind. So anyway, for more great topics like this, keep subscribing, keep sending us the questions, and uh, uh, like Rick, you know, keep that Mercedes on the road. <laughs> Thanks.